Mr. Kaplan? God, our Father, we call upon your name as we gather this evening, as we gather many evenings, always asking for your presence within us and among us. Direct our thinking, direct our listening, and direct our minds so that we may truly be servants of the people that have asked us to work for them. We pray especially for those in need, and we ask for your guidance as we deliberate this evening, always with our prayer beginning with you and ending with you. We ask say to this prayer and to every prayer, amen. Thank you. Are there any additions to the agenda this evening? Yes, sir. I, too, I need an executive session um, under personnel for the police department to discuss starting salary of the patrolman. Can we do it with a possible hire? When you make the motion for your hire? What's that? Can we talk about the salary at the same time? Or do we need to do a separate executive session? Um, Start out with the general conversation as that, far. And do we need to do that in executive session? Not the no. general conversation. Yeah. Okay. And then the other, the other part I'll need is a, uh, under the skating rink will be a request for expenditure. changes on that. Uh, I'll just run down on work in yellow. That's some new things I've added. It did say replaces water meter. It, it said tests and replaces water meters. We don't test meters anymore. We send them in. So that's just kind of a minor thing. But I added uh, helps maintain swimming pool and then put in there about rotating weekend and holiday on call duty, including nitrate removal plant, well checks, reading solicitation checks, and other tasks needed. So and also how to really how to save sewer ponds, like you said. Okay, the next uh, change was on where it goes to water and wastewater forming position requirements. Uh, there, the next page back, in the orange, it says four to six years uh, or similar related experiences preferred. preferred. We could go with two to four, it would be more realistic, I think. And, you know, uh, the next was down is the, uh, the in the orange is a technical degree and some college credit in environmental technology is preferred. I, you know, I don't want to scare anybody off. That'd be great if somebody had that and everything. And it made made changes as far as used to say the position is uh, also required to have a class two water certificate. Class 2 wastewater operator certificate, Class 2 water distribution 
system certificate in class two wastewater collection system certificate and certificate cross connection control prevention. Anyway, that's really not uh, necessary. Uh, we can just change it to what I have in yellow there that you you can have or obtain a class two water operator certificate and KDHE class one wastewater certificate. The other change was there under technical skills. Uh, it used to say uh, a backhoe and you know just only they operate in department and equipment. That's not a mandatory thing. You know, we've got operators and usually have water guys down the hole anyway. So those are just some changes I wanted to suggest to you. If you're okay with those before we put it out. Uh, not you know more than anything, I was just wanting to get it so it wasn't didn't seem quite so. Uh, technically involved as far as the college and all that stuff, so maybe we'll get a new one skirt and that off, so that wouldn't prevent somebody to have it from coming forward. Who's had this position before? Uh, you mean advertised or what, I mean, I mean, yeah, that's the, that's the position we have, I and mean, that's what Matt was doing, so. Do you know that Matt's resigned? Yeah. yeah. I just didn't know if he was actually this. Wake water and waste water yes, yes. <clears throat> So if you're okay with that, we'll get it out. Maybe you make a motion and change it. Yes, since it is part of the pay plan, I think it would be a good idea. Make a motion to allow Mel to change it as he read it. Second. Sorry, for the discussion. Everything else stayed the same, Mel, correct? Yeah. And this, that is the old, the old one. Is in the orange. Is in the orange, yeah. Motion has been made and seconded. All in favor? Opposed? Motion is made. That's all I have. Thank you. Chief um, Sanders is up here. Chief Sailor. Uh, yesterday we did interviews for the patrolman position. Um, the interview board, I believe, as a unanimous consensus, um, made a decision on a hire. Um, before we could actual, actually make a conditional offer, um, that individual has to pass uh, the psychological exam. What I would like to ask is that uh, in, in lieu of having to call a special meeting uh, in the future, that you go ahead and allow me to approve the hire of the officer um, contingent on the fact that they pass that psych exam. Um, I anticipate the possibility of them being able to take that tomorrow, um, if it comes in the mail tomorrow, uh, and then we have about a 24-hour uh, maximum turnaround on the actual grading of the test to see whether or not they pass. Session and discuss the So the executive session tell all the minutes. Ten 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 minutes. Probably Jonna, Adam, and um, Council Mayor. Council Mayor. Yeah.
Second into a higher Chris Story contingent as police officer contingent on the successful completion of psych evaluation and academy at $14 an hour. Is there any further discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Motion carries 5 0. Do you have a report or anything else, no. Chief? Okay. Thank you. John? Um, we had the ordinance 1029 in your packets. I uh, know the gap waiver is on resolution 767 on that. This is on the codification. <laughs> this makes it official. What you, the changes that you made and everything, the codification of our ordinances into the new code. I just need the a motion. I'll make a motion to approve ordinance 1029. A second. Is there any additional discussion? thing I had was, and some of you have already looked at it and turned it in, but the related, related party questionnaire, that's something that auditors always want before um, they come, concerning transactions that would have taken place in 2014. So if you have any questions about it, just get with me and we'll see what we need to do. Uh, this letter that I had John put in your packet is nothing more really at this time than an informational letter from KMU. Uh, the city's works under KDHE and at this time by by April the 1st we have to have our electric crew in fire retardant clothing and all of our stuff has to be ready for uh, KDHE inspection. But on top of that this is basically this is part of KMU's um, training that they give when you pay your dues it comes with it and then you pay a, a fee a quarterly fee and they they cater a safety program for your city and it not only includes the electric department it includes everybody else as far as water and wastewater server recertification and, and uh, uh, arc flash and this type of stuff and if we were to hire an outside engineering firm to do this it cost about twice this just to do our flash study so it's something that I saw in the KMU letter and I got a hold of this Rick Aguilar and talked to him and he was supposed to send me a list of cities that they're currently doing. I know for sure that just the other day they picked up Jetmore, which is about the size of St. John. And, and so I wanted to talk to him, but with yesterday being a holiday, why Rick was gone and so I didn't get that email to call anybody. He was going to give me a list of cities to call anybody to find a little more information about what all they were going to get for their money. So really at this point in time, this is a, a base cost based on your population and the amount of meters and stuff you have and, and it's really not set up to go into effect until January of next year, but we can go into it at any time and they'll prorate it. But um, this new FR deal with this, um, with this new 1029 rule has uh, got all the cities kind of messed up because there's clearances on on hot work and there's clearances on switches and and everything and it's something that we just really uh, are not too versed on at this point in time there's a lot to it uh, it's a book about the size of a Sears and Roebuck catalog and and there's different classifications for different voltages uh, different types of equipment and that stuff and so that's kind of the reason that it caught my eye 
and uh, I'd like to have some more information by next council meeting and then discuss it with you a little further. So at this point in time, it's really just for information only. Great. Anything else? That's it. When does this fire retard have to go into effect? April 1. April 1? Yes. I have to have clothing this for year? my guys by April 1 this year, yes. And that that is uh, mandated, Jeff, from where? KDHE through OSHA. And I think probably what we're going to do uh, to save the city a lot of expense, we have the option of either renting, that, renting the, the regular workday clothing. Now, the outer clothing... Uh, for the weather, uh, we'll have to buy. I mean, as far as coveralls, coats, that stuff, that has to all be fire retardant, never been of. Wear down to your shorts. I mean, that's just how far it goes. So, uh, there's going to be some expense involved, which I, I budgeted a little extra this year for for some of that safety stuff. So, we're I'm hoping to have a little more uh, information on how far we need to go and what class of clothing we have to have and then we'd like to just rent it I think to save you know if somebody leaves or whatever the case may be then the city's not out that money so anyway thank you are there any other questions for Jeff at this time okay um, consent agenda Approve minutes for regular meeting of 120-2014. Approve appropriation ordinance 0120-2015 in the amount of 54,891.02. Approve appropriation ordinance 1231-2014A in the amount of $13,494.72. Gap waiver resolution 767 and the annual tree board allocation. So moved. What's the gap waiver? It's the waiver that takes the city out of generally accepted accounting principles because oh. they don't work with the way okay. we handle city we finances. We handle it all on cash basis. <clears throat> and we're small enough that we can still do it that way. Second. Sorry. What's that? What's that? The annual tree board allocation? We give them $500 a year to. Uh, what he does. Are there any other additional questions? All in favor? Opposed? Motion carries 5 0. Okay, this time we need to recess for a land bank oh. meeting. Oh, I thought he had skating rink. Oh, something. so. Maybe. He did, but we were going to do it in new business after the land bank meeting. Oh, after the land bank. Sorry. You're right. Do we have a motion to yeah. recess? To recess. I need a motion. Move. I'm going to skip. Second. Okay. Out there. Opposed? Motion carries. Five vote. Approval is correct. Um, no, actually, this is to approve the acceptance of the property to the land bank, and then oh. I'm not sure what the share of sale information is. The pieces of property are the, the one that we got given to us, and also the. Right, we've got a, a deed that I handed John, and this is for the existing piece of property we just need to transfer into the land bank. And that is to be signed by the mayor and, and um, the clerk. <laughs> we just need the land bait and just and, and everybody's aware of this piece of property. This is a piece of property that's been discussed several times, but we just need a, a vote allowing that transfer into the land bait. Sure. I mean which property is it? That's at 523. Over there by. Oh. The one we put the roof on. The one we put the roof on. Oh. 
Do I make the motion then? Anybody can make the motion. I'll make a motion to accept the property at 523, whatever. East 3rd. East 3rd. Send to the land bank. Got a motion and a second. Everybody vote. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're the president. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who was the second? I'm sorry. Bob. What about the uh, industrial park? We talked about that last time. As far as? Transferring that from the city to the land bank. Yes. The only thing I would say is that there's, we, we would need to decide what we're talking about out there because there is, we would need to allow for the two other wells that can be put out there in the future. So we, I would think we need to decide what we're talking about rather than just the whole area. I mean, I don't think we want to, you know, lose lose the property where the new other two proposed wells would be. So I would think. Well, the way I, under, the way I understand it, correct me. I mean, just because it's in the land bank doesn't mean we can't we can give that part back to the city at any point. Right? Well, I, my only concern with was moving that in the land bank is only because I don't know what the intention with that piece of property was originally. And I don't know if you lose potential business opportunities um, by restricting it to the policies that are in the land bank. For instance, if you if you say they have to start construction at a set period of time where they're going to lose um, their property, which is the policy, I don't know if that scares away potential business. Well, it was set up as a, to be, a, the way I understand it, an industrial park, but no plans have ever been done. There's no... Water, sewer, water. There's no, yeah, there's no improvements there whatsoever. And, and so I just don't know enough ground. about it, so I, I mean, I... Yeah, I mean, I mean that's where we're at. I mean, it's just a piece of farm ground. But we could transfer it at any time if we decided to go ahead and develop it and everything, right? Right. Yeah, you would probably draw a straight line east, north and south, far enough west. Yeah, that are just all farm ground, yeah. whatever's farmable. Well, um, do you want to put it in the land bank and then continue a lease land? Mm -hmm. uh, Let the land bank lease it out for farming? Right. That's right. what you're thinking? Right. And yeah. that would also give the land bank a little bit of income so necessarily the city wouldn't just actually have to mm -hmm. hand them over one, one way or I mean, however you look at it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but I mean, if it was actually, there was improvements, there was a plan or something I could see not doing it, but where there's no plan, I don't see the issue in transferring it over to the land bank unless you do. That would be my only concern is if somebody looked at it and, and their first uh, thought is I need to read the land bank policy and then they see that they have to have something done between it before us in a set period of time and that doesn't work with their schedule, then they think um, it's not something they'd want to consider. That that would be my only concern. I think before we make those decisions that we need to have a some plot maps put in front of us of the area that show um, where the existing wells are, um, where the future wells may be, um, and kind of whatever else is out there so that those of us that haven't been here forever can get an idea of what we're talking about and so we can maybe talk a little bit about what it would take to develop it as far as water mains and sewer mains and that kind of stuff before we start talking about moving it to the land bank. Is this the area that was once considered for an ethanol plant? No. No, no. no it's, it's right there in the R1, just to the south of the I1 along Pit 1. <laughs> Right behind the well of the shop. Mm -hmm. Right where the water plant is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we lucked out by having it very lucky. Yeah. But well, like the rest of it could go. Yeah. The only other thing, I mean, I understand what Troy is saying as far as the income coming in, if you wanted to go to the land bank, and, I, and you could do it just as it is right now, but if you were going to do anything with it as far as, you know, developing it or somebody was interested, we would need to exclude that. That's why I thought you might want to. Well, right, I understand. Julian saying yeah, is, we know that 
proper legals right. and but it's been yeah. forever and nobody's ever showed any interest in what interest was right. shown nobody had any plans so it got wiped out anyway right. so and the, the biggest thing you want when the city first got that property you know there was talk about well we need to get water sewer electric out there we talked to the engineer we had at that time and he he said many times unless you know it's kind of an active thing like there's a lot of interest in it you can you can put a road in you can put sewer and everything in and you get somebody in here says well this is this road's right in the middle of where our building is going to be we're so big we're going to tear all this out we need electricity coming in from this way they said unless you really have an active deal you don't know somebody may want the whole thing just as is and just want electric to one corner and they put their something you know it, it was just the thought was you're going to spend a lot of money on some engineering and maybe putting in all the utilities and everything and then it sit there for as long as it has or somebody else comes in and says this isn't going to work for me I need all this over here so that that's why nothing was right. ever really planned well, I mean, or done with so theoretically we're probably not going to want very many businesses right beside the water treatment plant anyway yeah. I mean as long as depending on what it is you know so yeah. that's that's my whole thought process too is that yeah the well field is going to prevent anything not, from being right beside the yeah. plant so I mean it's basically a known issue as far as the industrial park as far as I'm concerned but at any rate we can worry about that later so sure, I'll have any information what's the sheriff's deal well the we talked about this and it's happened a lot quicker than, than I anticipated but it looks like there will be a sheriff's sale sometime this spring. Um, the county attorney has filed the necessary uh, petition in court asking the court to find that um, there's pro uh, certain properties, and there's 17 of them that have uh, liens on them, and the liens have been on the properties for uh, up to three years, and asking the court for permission to sell those properties by sheriff's sale. At some point, the court is going to order that, and at that point, then um, any kind of redemption period closes, and the landowner can't come in and pay the property taxes and get the property back. At that time, you guys can go to the county commission and ask for that property to be deeded into the land bank. Um, but, and some of those properties you've been mowing for years, anyways, and there's special assessments against those properties. Um, that if, if they're sold at auction, you would get that special assessment paid. But a lot of times, depending on the county, it's just let's get rid of the property and make somebody else responsible for it. And let's not worry about collecting the, the two or three thousand dollars that we have coming to us. Um, my suggestion is, and I don't, the only thing that's been sent to us are the property legals that have uh, special assessments on them by the city of St. John for mowing. Um, like the one I'm looking at now goes back to the, in 2009 you guys spent $876 mowing this property. I, I think what the land bank needs to do is ask city staff of those 17 to kind of put together a list. City staff may be interested in, in having, in, in approaching or having myself approach the county commission and, and asking uh, for that property. If, 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 uh, Are all 17 in St. John? No, and no. So that's Stafford County, right? Right, it's all Stafford yeah. County. And I don't know from, from the documents that they sent us how many of those 17 are in St. John. Yeah. I only know the three that uh, you guys have done mowing on it. But I, was, I suspect that if they're not paying their taxes, they're not mowing the grass either. Right. And so uh, there are probably only three um, that are, are City of St. John properties. I, I just don't know because of the legals, anything about them. That would be a, a good first start in, in gathering property for the land bank. Do we need to make a motion to have the city do that, or is it just a... You, you can make a motion directing the city staff to review the, pro the properties and put together a list of properties that the staff thinks are, are uh, eligible properties or something that, that can be done. You don't want to collect properties that you're not going to do anything with. Um, but uh, certainly properties that, that could be useful or, or could be uh, sold to an adjacent landowner or something like that, the city may want to consider asking the county commission more. I'd like to make a motion to have city staff prepare a list of 
actually all of the available properties in the county at this time for the land bank to review. In the whole county? Mm -hmm. I'd second that motion. Oh. Do we have, I mean, the land bank has no authority other than in the city of St. John, does it? Right, yeah, you're limited to the city limits. Yeah. Okay. So what's the purpose of the whole county then? i got to ask. It's okay, then, then just the city of St. John. Yeah, I was just saying, I mean, we only have the authority within the city limits, okay. so. Yeah, then I will amend my motion to include just the properties that are located within the limits. City limits in the city of St. John. Um, motion and a second. So, everybody in favor? 6 0. -oh. It may be just as easy. Yes. As, uh, do you guys have that just like the Peter Burton? A motion that we adjourn the land bank meeting. I need a one of you back just to the Peter Program where you can scan uh, the sky. I'm sure that has been took care of. Uh, the roof, the no, roof piece property we just gave the land bank has been paid? Yes. Okay, and the $5,000 is booked with that? Yes. Okay. Um, I guess when the time comes, we sell it. $1,200 extra dollars or something like that that we had to pay? What Do you remember it, what uh, the bid was on that roof? I think it was, we were about 2000 or something. We had to come up on our own. But it is free and clear as far as the city's concerned. Now we've that it's paid in the, the land bank. we've paid for it and we've been paid for it. That's all I want to know. They're part. <laughs> so I got a motion to adjourn to have a second. Second. Anybody want to vote? See so I'm asking on behalf of my wife, uh, who cannot be here for some due to some health reasons. Um, the sound system we have at the skating rink, um, the CD player and the receiver and everything is in good shape. However, the speakers that have been there for ever and a day um, are all but blown, they're rattling, they're pretty much shot. Um, we had originally approached the uh, Oddfellows Lodge about seeing if they would be interested in providing some monies um, to get some new speakers. Um, uh, the main reason we did that is we, we misunderstood a little bit uh, the, budget, the budget for the skating rink. We were under the impression that the budget was for the skating season and not the way the rest of the budgets go year by year. So we, we thought we were uh, basically out of money. But now that we've come into a new budget cycle, we have another $1,000 to start that over. So we, um, Tom Harrison, the pastor at Eden Valley, uh, he was very knowledgeable about the music, sound systems, things like that. We got together with him. He helped us, uh, got us in contact with a company called Sweetwater Sound who deals with a lot of, uh, they're just a music company. We gave him the dimensions of the skating rink, um, you know, what we had as far as equipment. Uh, and they recommended uh, to start off with, it's a PA speaker, it's a self-powered PA speaker, um, which means it has the amplifier and everything self-contained within the speaker, so you don't have to buy a speaker and another external amp to power it. Um, it is a, I think it's a 15-inch uh, speaker, anyway, I'll just pass this around. I don't, I don't have any idea right now what the cost would be as far as tax and shipping goes. The cost of the speaker itself is $499.99. Um, and we would, they said that would be sufficient enough to, you know, basically for the entire skating rink. Ideally, we would like to get another one someday, but we would like to, to start out with one. Are they still hanging from the ceiling? How are they not out? Yeah, they're still hanging from the ceiling. Do you think one will be enough? The, 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 company says, the, the company says it will be just because of the size of the speaker and the, and the wattage output. If we put it on the uh, north wall, um, you know, face them back into the, to the skating area. I, I mean, they said ideally you would want to have two, just like in any situation for the, the best sound, but obviously 
There's it's certainly of improved speakers since yeah. It's, 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 it's not cheap, so you know it's. I'm gonna make a motion to let him purchase it. I think we should get two. If we got two, okay. that would carry that would carry over our thousand dollar budget. We can go over that. The four ninety nine, you guys. It's for the kids. What else do we well, need? I understand one? that, but I mean, we don't even know how that. There may be a better system to go to. I mean, I think let them get this one, and if then take a look at actually trying to maybe Im actually improve the whole deal. Would be my guess. I mean, I understand it's for the kids. I have no problem with that. At all. I mean, that's the only thing the kids have to do in this town. I know. So, I mean, I don't have a problem with that at all, but I just, I mean. Well, we could get the one in, in next year's budget when we do budget for 2016. Budget extra. I mean, and see, maybe they want something else. Maybe that ain't even right, you know what I mean? Gives them a chance to look at it. I mean, they can always come back even in a month and try something else. I guess I don't care. Yeah, but if, if this isn't going to do it, it would be really foolish to buy this. How are you going to know if you don't try it? I don't know. You know, I think we ought to just do the research and get the one, get whatever we need to make it right. Well, that's what we did the research. That's what I'm saying. That's, <laughs> that's what was recommended by a professional sound company right, with yeah. the dimensions of the skating rink yeah. and stuff yeah, like he, that. The professional said one will do it. Okay, but I think what Bob's getting at is, do we need to replace the CD player? Do we need to replace the other stuff? I mean, I understand oh. that it's working, but would there be benefit to looking at doing a whole... Well, yeah. I mean, it, it, <laughs> new is always cooler and better. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but again, I mean... The it's, odd fellows weren't, wouldn't help us out? No, they... No, we, I, like I said, they, we, they had asked to come to the city first. The reason we approached the Oddfellows is that, like I said, we misunderstood the way the budget worked, okay. and, and we, we thought we only had a couple, a couple hundred dollars left. Um, so, you know, they, they, they have a history of, of being more than willing to help out with that kind of thing. Um, no, they said if the city wouldn't approve it, to come back and they'll buy it. So I, and he's I'm talking on the about Oddfellows, and I told them it should go in front of the city first yeah. Yeah. before it goes to them. He's talking about the skating room budget, but we have a Wit Center budget. Right. As well. So, I right, mean, right. if that's what you chose to do, you could take one from each. I don't want anybody to take me wrong that I don't want to do this. But I don't want to throw no. this money away and then turn around and redo it a whole deal again. Right. I think we ought to do the research, get what we need, and if the Allspillers wants to help the city, the help would be, would be a blessing. But if they don't, then we take it for ourselves and we get the kids' music the way they need in the state of it. That's what I'm saying. There's no sense of buying something if they think that it's going to work, and if we want two, if they need two, let's buy two to start with. Well, they're saying one is all they need. Yeah, they've already said that they've done the research. And they already said this is one. This is one that will do the whole job. So. But you're okay. thinking about getting the rest of the stuff, Bob. Is that what yeah, you're saying? Yeah. Whatever we need to get yeah, the right. CD player, right, right. the rest okay, of it, not you know. just the speakers. Well, what are we going to do? I don't care. Es essentially, what they said is that one one should be enough to power it. Obviously, two is better because oh, yeah. everybody's li used to listening to things in stereo sound, mm -hmm. and with your acoustics and stuff like that. I'll make a motion with Bob, or you maybe already did. <laughs> did he? Yes. I think what what, what we would ask motion? for now is to get one, and then if if we feel that it's not sufficient and we would like to get another one, then yeah. we can come back and ask. Right. So Bob, Bob Malcolm State, and we'll test it out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell me what size, and I'll have to stage right waiting for you. Have the EMS unit standing by. Come on, my boy. This is there quite a bit. You're right. I'm not going to do that. Okay, we have a motion and a second to purchase the speaker. Um, obviously, there's not going to be any sales tax involved. Right. But um, to at four ninety nine ninety nine plus shipping costs. And you might, I, I don't know, I didn't look on there. The shipping might be free with that kind of a price tag. I'm not quite sure. 24 hours or something. Is there any further discussion? Being none, all in favor? Opposed? Motion carries 5 0. Thank you very much. As there's no old Skating. business, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Thank you.
All in favor?